we really wanted to do this study because we recognized, like patients and their families, that if you want a good night's sleep, don't come to hospital. think about patients coming to hospital needing to repair their tissues and for me the big issue was heart attack but this applies to many others where you wanted to repair the heart and they are put in a unit where noise lights nursing procedures etc all conspire to interfere with their sleep we wondered whether this would be harmful to them in the long run <laughs> Cardiologists know that the first few days after heart attack are critical to the long-term repair process. If rhythm, day-night rhythm, is really important to the healing process, then this disruption you would see in places like the intensive care unit or CCU should have long-term effects. You never get a good repair. And what this study ultimately showed was that indeed, if you disrupt day-night rhythms during those critical first few days after your heart attack, then the clearing of debris, the putting up of the scaffolding, etc., becomes disordered, and you never get a good scar. What happens in those first few days lead to impaired healing down the road. People will say, what can we do about it? These are hospital procedures, these are sick patients, they need nursing care, um, and so on. It's true, but the best shouldn't be the enemy of the good. The first thing is awareness, and that's probably the importance of this study. Awareness that what we do in the short term may have profound adverse effects in the long term. And that's contrary to what we're trying to accomplish when we treat a patient in hospital.